we are now going to move to a slightly different kind of argument for God's existence. This is where we really move from metaphysics into philosophy of religion because religious experiences, while maybe a metaphysical issue, the question of religious experiences, what constitutes a religious experience, what evidence a religious experience provides, is really a philosophy of religion issue. Religious experiences come in many different varieties. They are typically had by individuals in certain circumstances. Sometimes a religious experience can be public. Okay, sometimes it is watching a sunset and feeling God's presence. The sunset is something everybody can experience. That feeling somebody might get that they're experiencing God's presence. While that is private, it is coming from the public experience. Children being born. The rarer occasions are things like the grilled cheese Jesus. You know, you grill cheese, you make a grilled cheese sandwich and Jesus is on the bread when it comes off, or the tomato that you slice open and it's the shape of a perfect rosary. So we have these public experiences that sometimes people feel something religious from them. But the experiences also can be private. They can be feelings that the person gets inside that cannot be shared by anybody. They might resemble sensory perceptions. Um, There's a famous quote from St. Teresa of Avila concerning religious experiences. She says, I was at prayer on a festival of the glorious St. Peter when I saw Christ at my side. Or, to put it better, I was conscious of him, for neither with the eyes of the body nor with those of the soul did I see anything. I thought he was quite close to me, and I saw that it was he who, as I thought, was speaking to me. So she can use sensory perception language, language like saw Christ at my side, even though that does not completely capture the essence of her experience. And then there are times when the religious experience is completely and utterly indescribable. There's a feeling that someone has, but there is no language to explain it. We try to use sensory language, seeing, tasting, hearing, touching, to describe just about everything because it is something we can relate to. But there are religious experiences that have been claim to be had by people who say that it just completely transcends any kind of language that might be able to to explain it. So religious experiences can come in any of these forms. The question is, what does that religious experience tell us? The argument from religious experiences says religious experiences occur in which God seems to be sensed. The best explanation for these experiences is that God is indeed sensed. In other words, God caused the experience. Therefore, 
God probably exists. So this is an abductive, inductive argument. Y'all remember this from our logic discussion. The best explanation for these experiences. So I have this experience. The best explanation for this experience is that it was given to me by God. Therefore, there probably is God. So while premise number one, religious experiences occur in which God seems to be sensed, is fairly straightforward, there are people who have experiences that they claim God has been sensed, just like St. Teresa of Avila. But at the same time, we need to understand the explanation. And the best explanation, the claim is, that God is the cause of the experience. So as you can guess, the meat of the argument here is in premise two. Is the best explanation for these experiences, in fact, that God caused them?